There have been a number of Western reports of late, including on the Wall Street Journal, that uh, Huawei is about to launch a new chip to challenge NVIDIA. Now, NVIDIA, of course, as one knows, is the leading producer of chips for AI calculations and has been restricted to sell the more advanced uh, processors to China. And they have to sell a dumbed-down version, a slower version uh, to China. Now, there are two things here. Number one, we know what happened when the U.S. imposed restrictions on Huawei on cell phone chips. You're not allowed to buy the more advanced chips for cell phones. But what happens? What happens is in less than two or three years, Huawei produces its own version, and it's just as fast, if not more advanced in some ways, than what was restricted. They could make it themselves now. So you actually have a situation in which the sanctions or the prohibition to sell technology or for Huawei to buy technology or buy chips from Western-dominated or U.S.-dominated firms has actually led to China's more rapid development of domestic replacement technologies and chips. That happened with cell phones. Now, what is being projected by Wall Street Journal and uh, other Western press is the same thing is going to happen with AI chips. NVIDIA dominates the market worldwide, and China was one of its major markets. Now, it's being told it cannot sell its advanced versions to China. They have to sell the backward versions. And I think they're very concerned because China certainly has the engineering capacity and the scientific wherewithal to be able to develop themselves. And what will end up as a result of U.S. sanctions and U.S. prohibition is accelerated development by Chinese companies, Chinese engineers and scientists, to have domestic replacements, even though Huawei has not announced it. But uh, Western Press is already covering this quite extensively, that it is known in the marketplace that Huawei will have AI chips in the market soon that may not surpass, but it could rival NVIDIA's chips. There are other Chinese companies which are also working on it. And uh, I know a couple and they're really working very hard and they're making rapid progress. I think within two or three years, uh, they'll certainly catch up. So to the U.S. government, why do this? Sanctions and prohibitions. It will only end up with China replacement technologies hitting the market faster and harder than you can ever imagine. It's sad for NVIDIA to be prevented from continuing on in the largest market for semiconductors in the world, and that is China. This is really not very good for these major global co companies. I think in terms of technology development, enhancement of technology a more rapid development of technologies in more advanced sectors is actually good for mankind. It's good for people all over the world. Uh, such prohibitions and sanctioning by the U.S. government goes against the trend of global collaboration, goes against the trend of common well-being, of mankind goes against the trend of accelerated collaboration to improve the lives of people all over the world. 